Hey everybody, my name is Britt McCrimmon with Vine Dresser Lawn and Landscape. We got a call about a week or two ago about some insects in the lawn and debris. Our operations manager went out there and took a couple pictures. And so today I'm going to go over um, three pest ground nesting bees, um, fire ants, and mole crickets. So you can see the difference between which one, uh, which one is which. So you could uh, you know, diagnose yourself what insect you have in your turf, and then uh, for diagnosis will uh, help you in how to treat it. And so th this, so we went to the property, and so we saw little holes in the ground like this, and then we saw, so you can see all these little mounds everywhere. And Bree said that you could see hundreds and hundreds of, of little bees just flying all through the backyard. And here's another pic. And so a lot of people might think that they're fire ants, a lot, uh, you know, or some type of ant. A lot of people might think that they're mole cricket holes uh, or ground ground bees. And so this is what the ground bee hole looks like. This is what all the little mounds look like. Here's another picture of ground bees, mounds. And then this is a fire ant. Obviously, you probably know the difference between a fire ant mound and a ground bee mound. You can you can tell the difference. Fire ant's going to be big. If you kick that thing over, thousands and thousands of ants are going to come out. But uh, mole crickets, like if if you're if you if you think you got mole crickets, but it's really ground bees, you want to look for these little tunnels right here. Um, it in the soil you can see the little tunnels where the crickets are actually moving through the soil and then if you were to step on this area right here it would be real easy so whereas ground bees you're going to see individual holes and then tons of little mounds mole crickets you're going to be able to see the tunnels right through here and so th th that's um <clears throat> you know a couple of pictures of ground bees mole crickets and then a fire ant mound, so you can tell the difference. And now we're going to go over uh, dealing with what ground bees are and how to deal with them. So th this is an article, Turf Files, um, NC State Turf Files, and it's titled Ground Nesting Bees and Turf. And you can just Google ground nesting bees, NC State, and this article will pop up. So ground nesting bees encompass mostly solitary species that create burrows in the ground or tunnel through wood and can range in size from a quarter to three quarter inch in length. They can also come in a variety of colors such as blue, green, copper, metallic, reddish, brown, depending on species. Leaf cutter bees are large solitary bees that build nests in various environments. Mining bees are also solitary and are slightly smaller than the leaf cutter bees with black Black with reddish hair covering the thorax and sometimes the abdomen. Membrane bees are much smaller and very slender, but can resemble some of the more unique, but they are small black bees that can also often be confused with smaller mining bees. The only ground nesting bees that can be social, depending on the species and environment, are sweet bees. So most of them are solitary. You're just going to be, may not have similar coloration to honey bees. And so there's a picture of a ground bee. There's a picture of a ground bee. The pest status of the ground bee. Ground nesting bees generally prefer warm, dry areas with sun exposure and well-drained soils containing little organic matter. So they like warm, dry areas, full sun, well-drained soils containing little organic matter, sandy soil. They're more likely to build nests in areas with bare ground or sparse vegetation. So little, like, areas where the turf is really bare. Membrane bees can be nest above ground in hollowed out stems of vegetation rather than burrowed into the ground itself. Leaf cutter bees have the most diverse nesting habits, including nesting in burrows, underground, hollowed out plant stems, the biology of the bee. The adult bees generally become active in mid to late spring when the females excavate nesting burrows that generally reach six or more inches in depth. So I'm gonna assume that that's a nesting burrow right there. During the day, females collect pollen and nectar to carry back to the nest and form an eighth to a quarter inch diameter ball that is placed within a small cell created in the side of the burrow. 
Females lay a single egg on the pollen ball, and when it hatches, the larva feeds on the pollen and continues to be active mid to late spring. When, when, when it's like when the weather warms up, all the insects start coming out in your lawn. Your grass hasn't fully grown yet, so this is when you're going to really see uh, pests in the lawn, and you and proper diagnosis, you know, will uh, determine what and how to control it. All right, the damage that these bees cause. When bees are numerous, many holes may be in close proximity, giving the appearance the bees are social species. They can also be misidentified as ant colonies due to the minimal, and control is rarely necessary unless bees are numerous and perceived as a danger or annoyance. Solitary bees are not programmed to sting people, and there's no mass attack signal as might be found with the honeybee or the yellow jacket. There's another mound, you can see it, solitary mounds scattered throughout the backyard or wherever it is. Cultural control. To discourage adult nesting, prep the turf, air, turf environment to make it less hospitable for females. Irrigate, irrigate the turf heavily, fertilize with organic matter, use ground covers or heavy mulches in areas of bare soil. Um, may help partially destroy tunnels, but establishment of dense turf is the best discouragement to further nesting. So in your in your lawn, you want to build up a, a thick stand of turf to deter the bees. And then in your natural areas, you want to put down ground covers or heavy mulches. So like pine straw or, um, or mulch anywhere where there's bare soil. Chemical control. Chemical treatment is almost never necessary if it is desired for insecticides approved for culture for the control of these insects in home loans can be found under bees and wasps and insect control in home loans in the North Carolina Agricultural Chemicals Manual. Um, and they suggest to use seven advanced garden, battle, delta guard, menace, tau star, or tempo as an insecticide. And so uh, either a pyrethroid or carbaryl. Um, and so to control them. Irrigate the turf heavily, fertilize with organic matter and build up the turf, uh, dense turf, and you'll get rid of the bees. Um, so my suggestion would be if you if your backyard or your yard is covered in these, pull out pull cut on the irrigation. If you don't have irrigation, bring in a, a sprinkler and um, cut it on, water it heavily, and you're probably going to run them off. Um, I hope this helps and you get a better understanding of whether you have ground bees, mole crickets, or fire ants. If you need anything or we can help you out in any way, let us know.